This podcast contains strong language. Listener discretion is advised. Let's write a movie. The podcast. Hey, welcome to the podcast. I'm Paul. And I'm Ron. And this is Let's Write a Movie, the podcast where we take nonsensical ideas for a, let's see, a setup, a conflict, a resolution, and then we pick a genre and we try to make a movie out of it. We try, we succeed in that area. Oh yeah, 100%, 105% I'd say. I'd say so, at least. Mm. Mm. Anyway, do you want to pick the, uh, the setup? Yeah, set up, here we go, let's do it. All stuck together because they're all post-it notes. Yeah. Separate them and out comes. Moves back home after mother dies. No. Oh. Oh. Wouldn't you just sell the Bit house? Of homecoming, you know, lots of Wouldn't drama you just sell the there. house? Oh, that could be what happens. You never know yet. Conflict loses their money in a pyramid scheme. Ah. Ah. <laughs> Resolution. Yeah. The zombie apocalypse couldn't be stopped. Ah, oh, bugger. Wow. That's really thrown her. Yeah. And the genre is comedy. Hey. <laughs> okay, well, it's going to be comedic anyway, because we're writing it. It's like, um, yeah, it's true. It's almost like a, I'm picturing writing. a Shaun of the Dead style comedy. Right. Mm. Existential kind of, oh, no. Oh, my mum's help. died and it's made me reevaluate my life. I'm going to mm. go back home up north to Stockton. Stockton, the Ponzi? Uh, no, Stockton. Stockton. <laughs> <laughs> in T- is Stockton not in a Ponzi? T- no. Yeah. Stockton is just near the River Tees. Next Stockton up, upon River. Upon, maybe it's Stockton upon Tees. Mm. I think it is. I should know. It's only 10 minutes away from where I grew up. So. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, we've got a bit of a start there. Yeah. So let's go. Let's call him Jared. Jared. Jared, Jared is a has... bonds. He's a banker in London. Yeah. He grew and... up in Stockton. That's all right. So Jared. Yeah. No, let's call him someone else. I like Jared. No. He's a keen golf. Um, let's call him Michael. Michael. Generic. Okay, so Michael's moved in. So Michael, who has recently received the news that his mum's died, mm-hmm. um, he wasn't in touch with her. He hadn't. He basically fought out of her because she, when he was growing up, she left the family home, and it was his dad that raised him. Right. She was shagging the postman, Makes and sense. he found her outside in the side passage yeah. because she they knocked over the milk bottles as they were going at it because that's where the milkman used to deliver yeah. the milk bottles because it would get nicked because they grew up in a rough area so Makes they sense. had to hide it down the side yeah. so he came out there was milk everywhere yeah. his mum's getting <laughs> sorry his mom's... it's just the way you said everywhere uh, and he sees that as he so you basically this is a flashback after yeah. he hears the news yeah. this is a flashback to kind of set the scene of where we're at now Mm. So he's he's leaving the house, the front door, because he's just heard this crash, this smash of glass. Mm. If he, as he gets to the corner, he sees some milk trickling around the corner. Yeah. And then as he gets round, his mother's in the throngs of passion of the postman. The uh, postman's hey. still got his bag on him and his hat and everything. Yeah, he and just he's, popped it out. He's got her over the, the wheelie bin. Yeah. And he's banging her, somewhat rotten. <laughs> so this is like a flashback. And her, yeah. she turns around and goes... Michael, it's not how it seems. <laughs> and it cuts back to modern day Michael in London. Yeah. Finishing reading the text because it's a text from his sister saying, Michael, she's gone. Are yeah. you going to come up to the funeral or what? Cut to the next scene. He's on the train. He's cutting through the countryside. Look, um, goes past like Sheffield and wherever he mm-hmm. gets, gets up. And he finally arrives in Stockton where he's greeted by his, his, uh, his sister. I'll play and, his sister. Okay. <laughs> and he's like, hey, uh, you're right, Deborah. Yeah. How, how are you feeling? Oh, you know, it's a bit troubling, isn't it? Yeah. She's now posh. She's now a posh southerner because she's also lived in the south. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, 
it's sad but it, you know I never got to really talk to her since that day but yeah. um, well she's the one who did it, run away from the family so anyway so um, I, we've got a house yeah. what are we doing about the house I mean obviously you've arranged the funeral thanks for that Deborah um, oh by the way I brought those pickles up that you like from oh, um uh, Brixton, you know the ones sold uh, by d- that Dilly Pickles. Dilly Pickles from Maurice, the uh, clod hopping Caribbean entrepreneur. He, you know, ever since we went there, I just I can't get enough. Yeah. Anyway, I've got your ball, a bottle oh, of thanks. that. That's great in this troubling time. So basically, so he's like, yeah. So I've decided I'm going to move in the house because um, until we sell it, I'll just move in there. I'll have a look and because uh, it needs a bit. Uh, from what you were saying, Deborah, it needs a bit of a uh, TLC. Yeah, yeah, the, uh, so, the carpets are a bit shit. All right, yeah. What I'll do is I'll move in whilst I'm doing all the upgrades. So when we sell it, we can get a good bit of dosh. Okay. I know it's in Stockton, so we'll probably only get about thirty grand. But you know, you know, I'll do, I'll pay for a holiday. You know, every little helps. Aye, because um, we're rich southern fuckwits now. No, not fuckwits, are we, Deborah? Are you there, Deborah? Yes. <laughs> but Deborah, I can't see. Oh, God. And this is when it comes out, but he has visions. Oh, okay. Oh, Deborah. Deborah, watch out, there's someone behind you. What's, oh. oh, it's all right, he's walking really slow. What's he doing? Uh, and he comes back around. Yeah. It's all right, Deborah. I don't know, I had one of those visions. Oh, you, oh that's fine. You Was know, it a scary one? Yeah, you know how they used to be. Yeah. I think because I'm a bit, it only comes out when I'm a bit traumatised and stressed. Anyway, so I'll move into that house. And um, I'll <laughs> look. I'll, scheme I'll sort everything out. Okay, is that okay, Deborah? Yeah, that's fine. Maybe you know, when Deborah introduces the pyramid scheme. Yeah. Right so. now. Um, I'll get it in. Oh, by the way, um, Michael, there's this guy at work, and uh, he's uh, taught me about this um, way of making a lot of money. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, basically, um, we would basically uh, take take the stock of this nutrition drink and we would uh, we would get people to sell it for us and then they would in turn get people to sell it for them okay that sounds interesting well if you can get them to sell me, send me a proposal maybe it's yeah, yeah, I'll something get on the phone we can look at after the sale of this house I'll get, I'll get on the phone to Big Barry for you so that night after they say the goodbyes yeah. and they're like oh yeah we'll see you at the funeral tomorrow he goes yeah. back to the house he walks in he's walking up the driveway and he looks to the side of the house and he has a where yeah. It all happened. And he's like, there's a shiver down his back. <laughs> yeah. Because that's at the point where it all came out and she ran away from home after the dad obviously kicking her out. Yeah. And it all went tits up. So he's like, oh. gets back in there, <laughs> walks in the front door. He's walking around the house and all these memories come flooding back. And it's another flashback of um, him walking in the bathroom and there's all these letters his mum is his mum's naked on the bog, <laughs> clutching all his letters, covered in talcum powder, yeah. looking very flush in the face, and he's like, <laughs> "Mum, what? What? Are you all right? Oh, sorry, I shouldn't." And she's like, "Get out!" Anyway, that's a flashback. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> anyway, the next day they got the funeral. Uh, at the funeral, yeah. <laughs> the postman turns. <laughs> What's he doing? He's in the full garb. Does he just like come from work? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he comes, and they're all gathering around the coffin at the end. Yeah. And he comes, and uh, what do you mean by comes? Oh, Paul. <laughs> he comes in, and yeah. the, the son and the daughter are like, "Oh, what's he's here?" And they're like, "How dare he?" I can't and believe this, he's here. Yeah. What's look who it is? He has an aged bit. <laughs> He's definitely recognisable, at least. Yeah, well, especially in his uniform. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he comes walking up to the the, the coffin. And they, they're just in shock. They don't say anything to him. Yeah. They're just like, they can't believe this is happening. And he, he's got his big red mail bag. Yeah. And he just pulls out this huge bunch of flowers, lays them on the, um, lays them on the coffin, and uh, just... And then retreats and leaves. Okay. Um, Very respectful. And before he, he, but he shouts something just before he leaves. He's like, "I'll never forget you, Tracy." I'll, and never, then he for- leaves. I'll never forget those flowers. <laughs> I'll never forget those flowers. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. 
He's having a, he's got a, he's got a cough. Yeah. And then everyone's like, who's he? And the, and then, De- um, Michael and Deborah are like, oh, yeah, yeah. no one. You don't want to know. He was a very, yeah. Anyway, so it cuts to one week later. Mm. He's done the house up. He's shaking hands with the estate agent yeah. because a sale has been made. He's wow. sold the house. God, that quick. Was, yeah. Hot cakes in Stockton. Mm. And um, basically, he goes straight from there to the pub to see Deborah. Hi, hi Deborah. Hi, Dan. How, how did the house sale go? Yeah, we've got it. We've got the money. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Have you got it all in place? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cool. Okay. So you want to invest the full uh, mm, let's 20, just do 24 thousand? Have a look at the proposal. It looks sound as a pound. Let's oh, chuck it all in there. Hopefully, I think we're going to do well out of this. Oh, I hope so. Cool. Do you think that man over there looks a bit, uh, bit ill? You know, oh, almost oh, un- God, he, he almost look- he? he almost looks undead. Yeah. You're right, mate. No, he doesn't look good, does he? Oh, we should probably retreat from him. Yeah. Anyway, next day, Deborah rings up. Michael with some bad news. <laughs> That's how quick these things move. Ring, 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 ring. Hello, Michael speaking. Oh, hey, it's Deborah. Hi, Deborah. How you doing? Yeah, not too bad. I'm looking forward to... Look, I, I, I want to cut to the chase. Yeah. I've got some bad news. Uh, oh, no, not this. Big Barry called me this morning. Uh-oh. I'm afraid those nutrition drinks... Turns out they were... They were toxic sludge. Oh God! I'm you, sorry. I, this is my fault. How did I get it wrong? I'm no, I'm normally so astute with this kind of stuff. We, we've lost our money. Oh Jesus Christ! But did did uh, all of it? All of it. Oh man, that's good. That house sale was for nothing. Oh well. I'm sorry. It's okay. It could have been worse. It seemed like such a sound idea. It did. It really did, Deborah. Mm. And uh, you know, I'm sorry. To have lost our money, I feel responsible, and I will do my best to get it back oh, okay. somehow by working an extra job or something. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway, I'll, I'll go. Okay. I'll see you soon. Yeah. I'll see you soon, Deborah. Mm, bye. Love you, sis. Yeah. Give a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> so they hang up the phone. <laughs> Doing their usual goodbye. Um, over the phone yeah um, and then basically it cuts to he's like he's basically the local pub in Stockton right he's, where he grew up he's yeah. like oh fuck it I'm gonna go down the pub he's yeah. pissed off he's like I'm gonna give Baz and Waz and Daz a ring my old mates yeah. so he's like That's you alright lads do you fancy coming for a pint and back up for a while and they're like hey, oh, hey, hey what's up let's, 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 let's go and do it let's go and have a pint so they go to the pub and as they get there, Waz and Daz are already there. Yeah. And they're like, wow, oh, oh, so good to see you. Anyway, they get a couple of pints in. It's like, where's Baz? We well, said he was coming. Mm-hmm. And anyway, they look through the, the window and they see the silhouette. And it's like, oh, that's Baz. That's, there he is. You can tell Ooh. that silhouette anywhere. Yeah. But it's like, it keeps coming. The silhouette keeps coming closer and closer to the window. Yeah. Yeah. And he just actually smashes through the bloody window. Okay. Do you want to play the zombie Baz? <laughs> Fucking hell, Baz. Have you been on it all day? Steaming. Uh, yeah. oh. Brains. What? What are you being on now? Brains. Oh, man. <laughs> so, and so Baz eats Gaz and Waz's brains. God, just straight out there. Just. <laughs> yeah. And uh, Michael's like, oh, sod this. I'm going back down to London. Gets on the train. Yeah. And he, as he gets on the train, halfway through the train journey, half the train are zombies. Hey, shit. And uh, basically, he gets on the phone to Deborah. Ring, 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 ring. Hello. Oh, no, not you too, Deborah. Oh, brains. Oh, love you, sis. Give a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> and he puts the phone down and this the guy comes along serving food and that down the middle of the train and there's a zombie and as he gets to as he gets to Michael he lunges at him and bites him and yeah. and um, uh, Michael just looks at the camera and goes oh fucking milk bottles yeah. and it ends there we go Bad what do we call it the title is yes um, oh gosh it's hard because it? it's got so much in it 
Mm. It's got uh, zombies, personal trauma, yeah. mother's death, zombies, financial wars. What about um, zombie scheme? Yes. <laughs> it really is terrible, isn't it? <laughs> I'm going to go for oh, um, Deborah and Michael's financial zombie apocalypse. Deborah and Michael's financial zombie apocalypse. <laughs> it's long. I don't know. <laughs> Um, Financial hardships. Zombie apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> That'll do. That'll do. <laughs> You'll be one of those anyway. Yeah. Um, so who's playing Michael? Um, I'm going to go for... Michael Keaton? <laughs> no. It's got to be a, a bit factors. younger. Um, uh, Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. I want to hear him do it. Yeah. T-side accent. Uh, yeah, I bet you can do it. I bet. I'll book, I'll book Deborah. amazing. <laughs> um, Deborah. Um, you want someone sort of reasonably the same age too? Katie Price. Katie Price? Jordan. Jordan. She would play that well. Those kiss noises. The postman. The postman. Liam Neeson. Liam Neeson. He's no, like a, that's... No, perfect. But okay, Liam Neeson. Yeah. Um, Any other characters? We need um. Oh, Baz Waz and Daz. Baz Waz and Daz. E seventeen. E seventeen. But what? just not the the Brian Harvey. Yeah. He Fuck him. <laughs> I get the other three. Yeah, that's fair enough. We need a sport. We need like a sport person. Patrick Vieira. Who for who? Why? Because there's always a sports cameo. Yeah. Remember when we? Oh, were sports cam. <laughs> was it sports? Huh? Was it sports? I think it was some sort of sports cameo. Yeah. Something like that. Patrick Vieira. Patrick Vieira. He could be behind the bar. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's just an extra. <laughs> but who, no. Yeah. Patrick Vieira is the guy at the end who's got the um, oh, the trolley the of trolley tea guy. and food down yeah. the train who's actually a zombie. Yeah, perfect. That's Patrick Vieira. Nice. All right, so, so summary? Oh, God. <laughs> if you can remember. <laughs> okay, so you've got Michael living in London. He gets the news that his mum's died. Uh, we have a flashback to her shagging the postman down the side of the house. Milk everywhere. <laughs> so he basically, he has to travel back up to see his sister Deborah, who's travelled back up to Stockton in yeah. North East England to arrange the funeral, but also the sale of the house. Anyway, they sell the house. Deborah knows this guy who's uh, basically um, is involved in a Ponzi a pyramid scheme. Um, it all goes awry; they lose their money. And but before that, at the funeral, the postman turns up and puts some flowers on the the mum's coffin. Anyway, that's incidental, really. Yeah. But we get forward past losing the money. Uh, what happens? Oh, he meets up with some friends in a pub whilst he's in Stockton, and one of them's a zombie and mm. kills the two of her mates. He flees back on a train, getting out of London, and Patrick Vieira turns up in a cameo as the the trolley dolly. And kills um, Michael by biting his uh, neck off, yeah. and he just shouts out, "I don't know, milk or something." Zombie milk. Fucking milk. But- that milk bottle bastard postman. Mm. I don't know. I'm trying to tie it all in, that's but a- it's a very clunky way of doing it. It's fine because that's caused a lot of. If you were to do this properly, mm-hmm. you'd see that he's been in counselling and he's, he's caused some trauma in his life. His, his mum getting shagged <laughs> over the wheelie bin by the postman. So he makes, that's his last thing he's thinking These of. These are all, it's, it's all open to interpretation. Yeah. And we had to fit in a lot <laughs> in, didn't we? Because yeah. it was all the stuff going on. Yeah. So and anyway, the, uh, and it's called... Um, financial Pyramid Hardship? Zombie Apocalypse. Zombie Apocalypse. There you go. Thank you for listening. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, Financial hardship, zombie apocalypse. Bye. Bye. (laughs) Thank you for listening to the podcast. We release a new episode each week. If you would like to support the podcast, please share with your friends and write a review on iTunes. You can also follow our social media. We are LWAMPOD on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. That's L-W-A-M-P-O-D. Thank you.